It's easy to get lost in the world of nutrition when you're first starting to be mindful of your food choices and track your diet. So we wanted to give you a brief breakdown of macronutrients versus micronutrients. Macronutrients are nutrients that our bodies need in large amounts to create energy for physical and mental activity. There are three primary macros, protein, carbohydrates, and fat, and a lesser known macro, which is water. To gain, lose, or maintain weight, many people will count their macros to make sure they're getting adequate nutrients for their body's needs and to support their health and wellness goals. Macronutrients are counted in grams. For example, a quarter cup of almonds has approximately six grams of protein, six grams of carbs, and 14 grams of fat. And you would add this up to ensure you hit, but not exceed, your targets for each. Micronutrients are vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, trace elements, and antioxidants, and they are needed in much smaller amounts than macronutrients. Thus, micro for small and macro for big. They are essential in the production of enzymes, hormones, and proteins that are critical to body and brain function, including metabolism, heartbeat, and bone density. Now that you have a good understanding of what each macronutrient is and why it's critical to your everyday and overall health, here's a basic overview of how to calculate macronutrients. Proteins have four calories per gram, carbohydrates have four calories per gram, and fats have nine calories per gram. If the macros of a recipe has 45 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of fat, you would multiply the amount of protein times four calories per gram, the carbs times four calories per gram, and the fat times nine calories per gram, which would mean that this specific recipe example would have 180 calories from protein, 56 calories from carbs, and 126 calories from fat. This all adds up to 362 calories in total, and if you could do that math in your head, I'm impressed. Your optimal macro ratio depends on your goals, your sex, age, weight, lifestyle, physical activity, and your body type. Use the Meal Prep on Fleek macro calculator linked below in this lesson to figure out your individual needs. Always prioritize what your body really needs and use this info as a helpful guide. It requires a bit of discipline at first to figure out how different foods fit in your individual macro needs, but it's worth it if you want to reach a specific macro target goal. And as a helpful tool, make sure to download the meal tracking worksheet included in this lesson.